Hey guys, uh, Michael here. Whew, what a week this has been. If you guys can't tell, I'm just drained. I look like a mess. My fucking face is all marked up. I've I've kind of gone down the tubes these past few days, but I'm starting to recuperate better. Uh, no, it's nothing with drugs or anything. Nah, it's just personally, it's just a lot of uh, a lot of hard work. Uh, finals, midterms, work at school, work at my job, and a lot of stuff. And it's kind of taking a lot out on me. And I let that slack into my YouTube channel, so and that's why I didn't upload anything. Um, with that said, though, I have some other videos planned that I'll be making. Probably I'll be releasing in the few days to come. They were basically filmed. I just never put them out, so I just put them out there for fun. Uh, but today I just wanted to make a video because I wanted to address something that I noticed a lot of people have asked me. Um, and this is kind of a very simple question, and it doesn't require a lot of... Uh, answers but I'm gonna answer it so let me put this up here I'm gonna put the camera up here and I'm just gonna brace back well actually not you know what I'm gonna stand up because I honestly want to uh well I'm too tall for this shit so looks like we're moving again all right I'm just gonna probably hold the camera <laughs> so everyone has asked me and since I've gotten my Mac, everyone's asked me, do you have an antivirus um, installed? Do you use an antivirus for Mac? Um, that's kind of a question. That's actually a very good question. And considering I study in this field, I kind of wanted to give my input on this. Now, keep in mind, this is my beginning year um, getting into um, stuff like this. But I have been studying software, hardware, and all that stuff since my uh, sophomore year of high school. So I know a little bit about it. And I'm going to continue that for college. But, um... Basically, antivirus is probably your best protection for viruses or any common things you can get when you're surfing the web. That's pretty much what an antivirus program is there for. It gives you a scan. It scans everything, every file, every component of your computer to see if there is either malware, phishing, um, trojans. These are all things that will affect your computer and also cause hackers or anything to break in and take information out. Now... There are a bunch of companies out there, and I've used so many of them over my time. Um, I've used Viper. I have used Norton. Um, I've seen Kapersky being used, and I've seen so many. And they all promise to do the same thing, protect you. Now, which one's better? That's up to you guys. But um, I want to talk about Mac. Do you really need an antivirus for Mac? Um, I'm going to be honest. You technically don't need an antivirus for Mac because the way that Apple makes it makes it impossible for a Mac to get a virus and considering that they put in so much security although that can be debatable um, it makes it almost impossible for someone to create a virus considering the processor and well not the processor but the the operating system since Mac OS is considered more secure and more reliable than um, Windows with that said though there are possibilities that it can receive viruses now, even though everyone says, oh, you don't need a Mac, you don't need antivirus for a Mac, in one way it's true, but and also they're false because there is a slim chance that it can happen. And that slim chance makes a big difference because even though it's like, for example, you're going to have sex, use a condom, they say 96% protection, 97, I don't know what the protection rate is because I've never used one, but, um, well, actually, technically, I mean, but there's always that slim chance that something could happen. So even though it's not 100%, there's a slim chance. Even though it's 90-something, so you're pretty much all right. There, Just remember, there's that slim chance. Just speaking real. Um, so yeah, even though, like, basically, yes, a Mac can get viruses, but it's almost impossible for it to happen. Now, I've known people that have used Macs for years. My uncle is the best example. He has had the MacBook Pro since, I believe, uh, the first time they redesigned it, but not with the USB-C ports. I think 2012 model he has, 2011, I'm not sure, but he's been using it for six years, and he has not downloaded an antivirus, and from his experience with it, he hasn't had a virus. So, you could basically go and, you don't even need an antivirus with Mac, but if you want to be safe, and just in, like just in case anything goes wrong, and if you're a type of person that plays games, well, I mean, you wouldn't really want to play on a Mac anyway, but if you're a person that opens a lot of stuff and you're just afraid, yes, you can have an antivirus. 
I have an antivirus on my Mac as a backup. Not because I'll use it all the time, but just once or twice a month, I give it a scan just to make sure nothing bad happens. Now, the antivirus I have on my Mac is actually, um, it's a free vi antivirus, but it's a full version of it. Um, I'll break that down in another video, but I'll talk about it and I'll explain what it is. But pretty much, you really don't need an antivirus for your Mac because if you are doing like things that could cause you to get viruses, you should be all right. But if you're the person that is a little skeptical and you definitely want to protect your investment, then there's no problem with you getting or investing. Um, whether you choose to pay for it or not, yeah. So even though you can get viruses on a Mac, it's not as common that I've seen because I've seen more people come to my workplace and I've seen more people come to my school, kids in my class that have complained about viruses more on their Windows than they have on their Macs. And these kids have both Windows computers and Macs at the same time. I just happen to be that. So for the fact that they have more problems with Windows, it shows. So from my experience, I necessarily don't think you need one, but I always say it's better to be safe than sorry. So you could definitely go and get it, but if you want to trust your instincts, you don't have to get it. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I just wanted to kind of put something out there to let you guys know I'm still alive and also just answer a question that everybody's been asking me. Uh, thanks for watching and peace.